that's Trace, Kansas. We're in Kansas right now. So Pitcher is a ghost town, so it was Trace. Also Cardin, Oklahoma, which we came in. We're gonna try to go by there. They're all ghost towns now. They were all uh, evacuated. And well, this whole area, it was part of a mining company called the Tri-State Mining Company. Okay, right, so 1913, Lesnes Inc. was discovered. His pitcher was named after O.S. Pitcher. He was the man who owned Pitcher Lead Company. 1918, it was incorporated. Great grandfather worked in the mines here, and I had a few other relatives as well. On September 1st, 2009, they disincorporated the city. All right, so we're entering Pitcher, Oklahoma. There's a lot of trucks that come here. Tailgating me because I'm going to be a Sunday driver today. Oh, that was scary. All right. I don't know. See, there used to be all kinds. Of... It is. Push... I think the the Quapel tribe owns this now. I don't see any signs that say that I can't come in here, so. Just to be houses. So you can see a foundation right there. And we're talking about the most toxic town in America. Well, extinct mining town. Now this is a ghost town. But I did hear that there were some people living here. I've heard some spooky stories too. Not just about when the town was alive, but heard people heard of. See, well, there's a little fire hydrant right there. I don't know if you can see it. See it? Heard people have seen strange things moving across the highway. What's going on? Somebody living up here? There's a car right there. I didn't know you could live here. Apparently so. I didn't know. Someone's still living here. I did not know. Wow. Hey, that's what it's Mine. Hi, feller. Okay, so we go right. We're not. We're gonna go left. <laughs> Hi, little guy. Oh, yes, you're so cute. Oh, look at the little doggies. Hi, babies. Oh, sweethearts. Look at that big old goat back there. I didn't know that people still lived here. See, I said I heard they <laughs> were. I guess there are.
see a lot of the foundations. I'm going to turn right here. to have a blocked off and, well maybe I just didn't pay attention there oh there's another truck over there so somebody so those people still live here because there were people that didn't sell out Oh no, nobody lives there. It's abandoned, I guess. Maybe not. No, somebody does live there. This is the back of the house. So there's another fire hydrant right there. I thought the people that lived here lived on the main drag there's like some apartments and stuff you see a bunch of houses missing there about being secluded. Beware of dog signs. Mining stopped in 1967, but there's all these chat piles. See the water in there? So we're eight miles north of the county seat, which is Miami, Oklahoma. 
Now, Pitcher was the number one producer of lead and zinc in World War One and in World War Two. I'm going to say that again. I know I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again. They were the number one producer of lead and zinc in World War One and in World War Two. We've been to the right, we're going to go to the left. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be on this road. Hmm. Well, I don't see any signs saying that you can't be on this road. There's no road close signs or anything like that, so... I don't know if he's going to wait for me or if I'm going to wait for him. I'm just really nervous. Let's see, okay. Should I? brother. like the 
gym over there. There it is. Okay, I don't think we can go down here. Rocks, boy. Makes me nervous. You know, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't know what these rows are like. Yeah, the Quapel tribe owns that. See that Ogapaw sign? Tribal. Now I do have another video without talking about this old auction barn. Spent a lot of time here on this property when I was a kid. We'd always come to the auction. All right. Look at that lovely water tower. The water tower is pretty awesome, isn't it? <laughs> Bucket. Okay, so I'm going to go off on memory here. As I was saying earlier, over there on that corner. And across the street, so right there where the sign is, see there? There was, not exactly right there, but in that area, there was a little, like a, a cafe type place. And across the street, and that area was like a, like a dinette, like a drive-in diner type thing. Well, there's some people here at the memorial. So we're going to walk down the street here, just see some stuff.
state football champs in 1984. Maybe they're not sirens. Oh, you can drive down over there, so we will do that here in a minute. held back on doing a full video on this town was because it makes me emotional. I've known a lot of people that lived here. I spent time here. My grandfather, great grandfather, worked in the mine. And it's just really sad. And that's all they have is what we pulled up in front of just a minute ago. That's all they have left. And there are artifacts scoured across the four state area in different museums. I'm not sure why there are a few buildings still left, because they took everything else away. Why? I'm glad there's still something standing, but why leave that? I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Playground, picture card, and public school. I think they just kept that sign. Okay, he's driving around. He's probably from picture. Because there are a lot of loyal people that still come into town. They still have a parade every year. My brother actually has a video of the parade from 
2024. Well, no, it would be 2023 Christmas parade, I think he did. And you can find him at MWR Photography. That's his YouTube channel. Now, I don't know if Carton's included in that parade. All right, let's go see the memorial. There's a the car park there, but nobody's in it, so maybe they're walking around the area. Waving at everybody as they go by. Yeah, so the town started overnight, they say, like I said earlier, in 1913. And then in 1918, it was incorporated. And this is what we have. <laughs> I'm glad we have something. I don't know who Jack is. I did see conflicting information online. Oh, there's the church that burnt down. Or somebody burned down that one. There's another church outside of town. Oh, that's the pharmacy. The old miner's pharmacy. That's the man that, Gary Linder, Linderman that passed away. And then 2008 was that tornado. Six people were killed. 150 homes were destroyed. All right, let's go check out those apartments over there. But I didn't think you could even drive down these roads anymore. It's been a while. So there's a road maintenance building. I'm gonna go see, see those apartments over there. Let's go cross. Look at this coal bucket. All right, we're gonna go walk around over there.
bugs. It's got a chair on there. Someone's looking at that one over there. See the car? I don't know if that's like a driveway one time. Are those eagles? <laughs> Were those eagles? I couldn't tell. They had weird heads. Alright, so I don't know what that is, but it's interesting looking, isn't it? whole community on Keep Out Street. So I guess it's just the houses. I don't know if you can drive or walk down the street. I don't see any signs. See that house is, looks like it's has somebody living in it. Yeah, that's a poor old trailer house. What's left? All right, here we go. Yeah, there are people living here. By the Pueblo Tribal Marshals. Pueblo Tribal Marshals. Huh. 
There we go. I guess it's a storage facility now. A little post office there. Look at that, keep out. I definitely wouldn't want to go in one. I'm not a, I like to see the abandoned places, but definitely not go in them. Actually, that's not true. I would like to go in them. I just well, afraid to tell you the truth. <laughs> that's a yeah. Look at the walls. They're all torn up in there. They didn't tear these down. They tore down all the historic buildings. But that's really interesting artwork. That one caught fire. Keep out Avenue. God, it's such a nice water tower. Off-roading along the way. See the hole in there? I don't know if you can see that. was here. Wow. I'm gonna go around. 
around one more time around that little block area. Oklahoma, the most toxic town in America. That's what they say. From what I understand, after some time, the state, after they bought out the land, they sold it to the tribe. Beautiful. There's several of them. Oh, they're beautiful. See them right there on the road. several years back. I think that's when they were clearing down the town. Maybe that's why I thought you couldn't drive through here. Because they were tearing down everything. See? See all the foundations. And now it's a tourist attraction. There's that trailer we saw earlier. Little homemade pond. Every time I see something like that, I think of that song. Oh, and look at that beautiful chat pile in the background. When I was a kid, I actually thought they were mountains. Yeah, look at this. Look at the mountains. Those aren't mountains, sis. <laughs> Those aren't mountains. You won't even know anything was here. Be like an ancient people. Now this, I believe, is the side of town where the tornado Let's take it to the line. Let's go see what's up here. Is that a road that goes to the right? Yeah. 
Oh, there's a fire hydrant to the left here. There are several fire hydrants left in town. Let's go left. Let's see how far. Okay, yeah, this is definitely where the tornado had hit. See if there's something there on the tree. That tornado was in 2008. Has it really been there that long? That would be 16 years. over here to the right. tree in the road. Guess we won't be going this way. The house was down here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Can see that? Yeah, there we go. That's a picture house. That's a nice one, too. An old fire hydrant.
should we? Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, let's leave that one alone. Garden is straight ahead. You can't go in a garden. You can see where it's blocked off. They had those big blocks. That's the way it used to be here on Pitcher. And they took them away, obviously. Methodist Church. The way it's built. I actually have a YouTube short on this church and it's a lot better condition than it is now. That was like a year ago, I think. All right, well, there was a store, like a liquor store somewhere. There's another fire hydrant around there. See, they have a something blocking the way over there. Wait a second, did they tear that house down that I was thinking of? Yes, they did. No, it's up here. I did see it when I came in. I see on the left there used to be houses. and Yeah, the funeral home, I believe, was right next to this house. Yeah. See how they have it where you can't go through it. Well, there it is, folks. It's what we have left. Pitcher, Oklahoma. It's May 1st, 2024.
correctly, I think this is where the funeral home was. I think. Paul Thomas Funeral Home. They lived there too, so it was literally a home. So sad. It's your Oklahoma.